Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm really excited to be doing a collab video all about affordable, neutral eyeshadow palettes. I got inspiration to do this video after seeing the newest Natasha Denona palette release. I do have a couple of Natasha Denona palettes, but seeing that palette, super neutral, shades that we all have and can get for a lot more affordable prices, really inspired me to go through my collection and pick out my favorite affordable neutral palettes. And I reached out to Christina and asked if she would love to do our favorite neutral palettes as a collab and she agreed. So thank you so much Christina for collabing with me on this. I oh, I adore your channel. I love that you're also like a five day a week channel and I always have something new to watch. And I feel like I relate a little bit more to her as well since she is um, married to a she's a military spouse and I grew up with a military family my dad was in the Air Force so I feel like we just have so much in common and I love watching her channel and her content so thank you again Christina for collabing with me on this so I have seven neutral palettes here and they range in price from ten dollars to thirty eight dollars so that's kind of the range that I'm going for all of them are less than $129 for that Biba palette from Natasha Denona. So let's go ahead and jump into my first favorite. I tried to go from like cheapest to most expensive, but I'm not great with numbers, so I'm probably gonna mess up here and there. My first one is this palette from e.l.f. and this is their Mad for Matte 2 palette that comes in their Mad for Matte line. That being said, these are all matte shades, but uh, the formula of this palette is beautiful. It's buttery. They blend out amazingly. And while it is mostly neutral, you do get some nice little pops of color over here. This orange I particularly love, especially in October. And this purple is actually also really nice. So here is a close-up of the palette. I purchased this actually within an e.l.f. store. Unfortunately, all of their stores are now closed, but it is still available on their website. I've done quite a few videos on all of the like e.l.f. palettes in this packaging, so I'll link one up in the cards and I'll include a full list down below, but for the most part I love every one of these except for the original Mad for Matte. Don't pick that one up, I'll throw a picture up right here. I've tried that out and it's, it's different. The formula is different, it's chalky, it doesn't blend as well. I would not recommend that one, but the rest of them in the line, they're really good. I have like six of them. The next palette is... I feel like one of like the original warm neutral palettes that got everybody off running to the races and this is from Colourpop and this is the Yes Please palette. So I was caught up in the sunset hype big time. It was right when like I first got into makeup and first got into colorful eyeshadow looks. I do have the palette that this one is kind of based off of, the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. It's right over here. And personally, I was just reaching for this one more. This one, while the packaging is white, I was like, that's like the only downside to this is that the packaging is white and it's going to get kind of grimy and gross. The shadows are incredible. I love the range that you're getting here. I personally like depotted all of the shades and re-put them into the palette in a way that made more sense to me. So it's not going to look the same as like on their website because what I really like to do it's like with ABH or with Lorac where they do like all the mattes and then the shimmers. I like having them separated out just so I can kind of get the creative juices flowing. So I moved all the matte shades to these first two rows and the bottom is all shimmer. So excuse the mess of course, but here is the palette. I do believe the Natasha Denona palette really started this trend that we've seen for several years since of these warm neutral palettes. And honestly, I think the best affordable one is this one from Colourpop. I believe it is still $16. I'm going to double check on the website. Yes, it is $16 still. Colourpop does sales and since this has been along for so long, you could probably use coupons or whatever. The, I would say wait for a sale and get this because I believe I got it back when it was 12 or I used some kind of code to get it for 12. A hundred percent worth it. The next palette I'm talking about is actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today, or for most of what's on my eyes today, and this is from Milani. I'm going to try not to blind you because it's very reflective. This is the Bold Obsessions palette. This is a gorgeous palette. I love how buttery and smooth all of these shades are, the mattes, the shimmers. I love that it's not... I don't... it's not boring, right? Each one of these rows gives you a new look. So you have like a very, let's try this. You have a very brown neutral palette right here. You've got some warm 
warm neutrals you got a red right there on the top and then if you cover up these <laughs> can i do this and go to the side you've got a very nice like deep kind of blue smoky eye so this gives you a lot of options and the formula is amazing personally also the packaging is great it's very sturdy i love the gigantic mirror and it just stay up and hold in place for you and all of the shade names and everything is just on the back of the palette today on my eyes i stuck mostly with this row right here i used this as an eyeshadow base and then i went in with my transition actually with this warm kind of transition shade right here i deepened it up with this deep kind of brown over here in the corner and then all over my lid i have this shimmer shade right here which this is a gorgeous shimmer shade i love it I've also tried and really love the two shimmers right here in the middle, this kind of gold and this like more coppery shade. And that's without, you know, putting anything on. You don't have to spray them with Fix Plus. I always use a glitter glue just to hold them like on my lid, but they're spectacular without having to like wet them. This palette retails for $19.99 on the Milani website. I actually picked this up when I finally found them in my local CVS. I would always recommend trying to get these more affordable brands in store if you can and stick to like one store. I try to get most of what I can from CVS so I can like use all of my bucks and use all my coupons and really get the most for your dollar there. So I did get this at CVS and I remember there was a sale going on and I had some extra bucks. So I think all in all I paid of close to 11 or $12 for this palette. The next palette I'm going to be talking about is from Juvia's Place and this is the original Warrior palette. And this is stunning. This is gorgeous. You have a nice range of shades in here. I like that you get kind of like your basic mattes and then the rest are shimmers that you can play with. So this is a matte right here, a matte, a matte, and the rest are shimmers. These are huge pan sizes. They're I've never hit pan on one of these. I don't know if I ever will. They're gigantic. This palette retails for $16 on the Juvia's Place website. You can now get this at Ulta. So save your Ulta points, use those coupons, wait for a sale. <sighs> Love this palette. My favorite shades from this palette are the gold right up here. Gorgeous. And then I, I, I love me a nice, like, light champagne shade for all over the lid. When I go for a neutral look, that's, like, my favorite thing to do. <laughs> the Juvia's formula is amazing. Everything just blends out like a dream, and I love this palette. Like, I remember back when I first got this, I was like, oh, like, looking at the pictures online, I really feel like no picture does the palette justice. If anything, I'd really recommend going to Ulta and taking a look at this palette in store to so watch it, because I waited so long on this palette and it wasn't until I found like a really nice looking picture of the warrior 2 on Instagram that I got interested because when it comes to like these neutral palettes it's hard to like do them justice unless you see them yourself absolutely adore this adore the packaging amazing product $16 so unfortunately I've been looking online and I don't know if this palette is still available. I'm sure I've seen it in store at Ulta at some place, but I can't find it online and it's kind of upsetting. Uh, so this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Palette. So this is the deluxe palette that comes with the eyeshadows along with a whole bunch of like highlighters here on the bottom. This is a great more warm leaning neutral palette. I particularly love the highlighters because you can use them as eyeshadow. I'm actually wearing this light highlighter today as my inner corner highlight and it's, it's blinding. I love it. I actually bring this palette out just to use that shade as an inner corner highlight. I feel like maybe if you're going, if you're going for a dramatic highlight, these are great. I can't wear that blinding of a highlight like to work or anything, so I really love using it as an inner corner highlight right there. I love that you get the variety in this palette, and I like that they made some of these shimmer shades that you kind of were going to use more often, either as highlight or all over your lid. I like that they made those pans a little bit bigger, because the only downside is that these pans are kind of small. That being said, I have not hit pan on any of these because I've got a large collection, but this can very easily be your all-in-one go-to face palette as well because you've got this light pink shade this is kind of peachy you could use that as a blush they've got these deeper shades down here they are glittery but you could use them as like a shimmery bronzer or a contour there's just so many multitasking opportunities within this palette and i purchased this from the ulta website i believe it was either the ulta website or ulta in store and it was 21.99 when i purchased it unfortunately 
I don't see it. Uh, I had to double check and see if this is still available, but I really do think for how multitasking this is that it's a great bargain for that price. So the next palette I actually got in a boxy charm, so I didn't pay the actual retail price for it. I'll just say the the price of the boxy charm. So this is probably twenty one dollars that I put out of my pocket for it. But right now on the Pure website, this palette is twenty nine dollars, and this is the Soiree Diaries palette, and I was very surprised by this palette. Looking at it, I really underestimated it and didn't really think like, okay, yeah, whatever, it's a neutral palette. This is such a great palette. Everything is arranged again in like these rows to give you a quick look that you can do. You can get a quick, gorgeous, neutral look out of this palette like less than five minutes. If you're in a rush, if you just wanna go bam, bam, bam and look great, this is your palette. The shades are nice. I really like that they arranged this, kind of like I did my ColourPop Yes Please palette. These two rows are uh, matte, so the top row is going to be kind of like either your base or your transition. The second row is going to be what you're going to deepen up your crease or your outer V with, and then the bottom row is shimmers. My favorite trios to use are actually this more like red toned one, and then this kind of deeper neutral right here on the end. Whenever I use this palette, I end up not having to put a lot of effort in, but end up loving the look that I get. So personally for me, would I purchase this at $29 knowing what I know? Yes, I would. I just didn't pay that price because I was lucky enough to get this in a boxy charm. And I feel like because of that, I did underestimate the palette, but don't underestimate this. This is a great palette. One downside is that this kind of part of the packaging feels very cheap. It hasn't come off yet, um, but you do get a nice size mirror in here and it is very sturdy. I just don't like that. <laughs> All right, and the that being said, this is $38. If you break it down by shadow, you're getting a lot for your $38. This is the most expensive palette in this group of my favorite affordable neutral palettes, but honestly, I think for what you're getting, this is up to the hype and it's a great value. And honestly, if you have this, you really don't need the rest of these neutral palettes. Honestly, you only need one or two and you've got everything. <laughs> this is gonna last you a long time. So those are all of my favorite affordable neutral palettes, but I do have a kind of honorable mention to bring up. And these are from Maybelline. These are the City Mini palettes. They're not all neutral, but I really have been surprised by the quality of these palettes. So far, I've only found one that's a dud. And honestly, can't remember what it was. I'll throw the picture up right here because I immediately like decluttered it because it wasn't that great. But some of my favorite neutral ones from their line include the Rooftop Bronzes palette. I can open it up. You've got some nice browns, some nice mattes and shimmers in here. Very pretty. They also have the Matte About Town one, which is an all matte palette. This is a great go-to if you just need to add some neutral mattes to your collection, and it's very affordable. So this is Matte About Town. And the last more neutrally one that I want to mention is one new to my collection, and this is the blushed avenue palette so this one has some more warm kind of neutrals along with a purple and some pink shimmers that's the palette right there this is gorgeous these are honorable mentions because they are $9.99 each which I honestly think that's pushing it a bit for what you're getting in these palettes especially since I think you really do need to have one or two to get full use out of them I really don't think any of these are true all-in-one palette. They're more to add to your collection if you need certain shades or if you need like an everyday kind of addition palette. That being said, you can get these again at your local drugstores. I would highly recommend always using coupons, always trying to get them on sale, get deals where you can. I have one, two, three, four, five, five, six of them right now and I really think that they do add value to my collection. I just think that if you're looking for a good all-in-one neutral palette, go look at some of the favorites that I mentioned before. Whereas these, or if you've got maybe one or two of those palettes, and one of these has something that you're looking to kind of add to your collection, they're a really good option. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you again, Christina, for collabing with me on this. Let me know down below in the comments what your favorite neutral affordable palette is, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.